Mr. Beast distributed $30,000 to the needy people who had thought he was doing it out of his arrogance. Hello everyone, I'm in mask and that wants to meticulously calculate down to a single dollar how much money Mr. Beast gave away to people just like that. In the age of the internet and global information, many become known solely through their creative skills and abilities. While the level of education does matter, at the same time a vast number of people remain below the poverty line. Therefore, it's not surprising that some help the others. And Mr. Beast earns his money quite easily while giving it away just as easily. Some might say that Mr. Beast is really greedy, I can confirm this. Mr. Beast spends only $30,000 on creating his thumbnails, while he spends upwards of a million dollars on creating his main videos, not to mention the money he gives to those in need. Therefore, it's clear that Mr. Beast dislikes designers. I believe that Mr. Beast genuinely dislikes the profession of design and is willing to spend too much compared to editing his videos. What do you think causes such a disdain for the profession of design? Let's calculate with mathematical precision all of Mr. Beast's incomes and expenses. He has a network of burger joints that brings him tens of millions of dollars, as well as the festival's chocolate factory and, of course, his network of YouTube channels. According to Forbes estimates for 2021, this all amounts to $54 million. In 2020, Mr. Beast earned $24 million, which gives us reason to assume that his income doubled. Thus, in 2022, Mr. Beast earned around $100 million, and in 2023, he will most likely earn $200 million. Therefore, Mr. Beast's cumulative income over these four years is $200 million plus $100 million plus $54 million plus $24 million, which totals $378 million. Well, know that if you help other people, you should be cut enough to give away a tenth of your income, as most churches and religions generally preach. Giving away a tenth is expected in society if you're wealthy. In other words, if you donate 10% of your income, which is really just 10% of the aforementioned sum, it's no less than $38 million. Mr. Beast, however, gave away only $30 million and spent a million solely of his amusements. Just imagine, 8 million into thin air, instead of helping other people and fulfilling the duty of 10%, Mr. Beast simply spent these funds without reason. Mr. Beast spends $3.5 million on creating a video about playing Squid Game. What do you think? Did the video turn out interesting? Or would it have been better if Mr. Beast helped needy children in Africa? Now let's talk about the positive side. Mr. Beast does indeed help others. He pays for eye surgeries for the poor and even gifted a Tesla car to one one of them in addition to cataract removal surgery. Some patients receive gifts ranging from $10,000 to $50,000. On average, each surgery takes 10 minutes, but it costs a significant amount ranging from $3,000 to $5,000 per eye. Half of the worst blindness cases are caused by conditions that could be treated with a 10 minute surgery. The governments are willing to cover the costs. However, Mr. Beast distributes this relatively small amount of money to a very large number of people. Mr. Beast also pays for e-bikes for residents of Kenya so that they can deliver food and earn money. Most people don't have e-bikes, so they have to pedal manually. Now let's calculate how much money Mr. Beast has given away. On the Mr. Beast Latavi channel, about two videos are released per month. Even if we ask him that Mr. Beast helps 100 people in each of these videos, he spends 100x $5,000, which equals $500,000 in half a month. This means $1 million per month, which is $12 million per year. However, the Mr. Beast Latter Beach channel was created only two years ago, and videos were released less frequently before. Therefore, at the highest rates, Mr. Beast has spent only $20 million on philanthropy, despite claiming to have spent $30 million. Furthermore, he is still $8 million short of giving away a tenth of his income. This indicates that Mr. Beast is actually quite greedy and has hidden away $18 million or possibly more. The only truly good thing Mr. Beast did is giving shoes to poor African children, as canning traders quickly took away the shoes from their children. We sent a vlogger to verify whether these children were actually wearing the shoes Mr. Beast has given them. It turned out that these children weren't wearing the shoes because the kind traders in Africa quickly sold the shoes to buy food, 
However, one thing is certain, you will have food, especially because your mom feeds your delicious meals. So give a like if you love your mom, bye.